A dive rescue team brought a pregnant woman back to life in Milwaukee. Her speeding SUV went off the 27th Street viaduct and plunged 60 feet into the Menominee River. She was under the ice for 15 minutes before divers pulled her out. She was behind the, the airbags way in the back, kind of like buried behind the airbags. She was cold. She was very, you know, flimsy. We don't know, you know, if she's alive at the time. Again, rescuers brought her back to life. A 19-year-old passenger made it out of the water on her own and was not seriously hurt. Two high school seniors are accused of sexually assaulting two young girls in Waterford. Court documents say 17-year-olds Nicholas Colburn and Michael Schleicher had sex with the girls numerous times at a party last Friday night. The teenagers' lawyers ask for leniency. Again, he does not have any uh, prior history based on the base of the complaint, um, and he has lived in uh, the Racine area for his entire life. In addition to those two suspects, a 21-year-old man is facing charges for taking drugs to the party. A judge has set the trial date for Dustin Diamond, the actor known as Screech. Diamond's girlfriend was by his side in court today. He's accused of stabbing a person during a bar fight Christmas Day in Port Washington. That trial is expected to start at the end of May. Doesn't seem like it's the measles. Tests on a second suspected case up in Portage County they have come back negative, at least so far. Still no measles cases in Wisconsin as a result. However, there are more than a dozen cases in suburban Chicago. Stunning news from the Milwaukee Bucks. They traded their leading scorer, Brandon Knight, to the Phoenix Suns. The Bucks will get three players in return, including Michael Carter Williams from the 76ers. Time now to get a check on the forecast. Here's Chief Meteorologist John Malone. And we're looking for very chilly air coming in and settling over us. And it came out of Siberia, and that's when we get the coldest, coldest air because the Siberian air rolls over the North Pole, then down into the eastern part of Canada, then right on down into southeastern Wisconsin. This is the kind of air we call the Siberian Express, and it brought with it the coldest wind chills and temperatures so far of this winter season. Burlington got down to 33 degrees below zero, Sullivan and Jefferson County likewise. Waukesha 31 degrees below zero and Milwaukee at 29 degrees below zero. There's our coldest low temperature officially at the airport, nine degrees below zero. We were seven below in January, no below zeros in December and 11 below in Waukesha, 11 below West Bend and Sheboygan. 13 below zero in Fond du Lac and Beaver Dam and 11 below also out in Watertown. So this very, very cold air sticks around for one more night. A new wind chill advisory has been issued. It starts at one o'clock in the morning overnight till 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday. Wind chills could get down to 25 below zero. We'll take a look at it on our future uh, wind chill chart and it shows at one o'clock in the morning we could be down to 22 below zero in Waukesha and Burlington, 21 below zero West Bend and Milwaukee. And by 10 o'clock in the morning, they get back above the criteria levels. And during the day tomorrow, watch those wind chills climb till midnight sat, uh, Saturday or Friday night, I should say. Those wind chills are above zero as warmer air pushes in with some light snow. Light overnight lows tonight, five below zero Milwaukee. We're seeing seven below Waukesha and West Bend and eight below zero Watertown Beaver Dam and also in Fond du Lac. Skies have cleared out. We're watching the clouds out to the west and the snow mixed in. We're seeing this Alberta clipper racing in from the north and west, and that could bring us some light snow. So as high pressure keeps us clear much of tonight by the morning hours, watch the clouds. That starts to race in first. A warm front rolls this way from the west ahead of that storm. And then by early afternoon, we'll see snow developing across southeastern Wisconsin at least by 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And it'll accumulate a half an inch to maybe an inch for rush hour tomorrow afternoon. And then the cold front rolls through later in the day on Saturday. Saturday, we could see temperatures up to close to 30. How much snow? Half an inch to an inch and a half. More to the north, a little less to the south. So for tonight, increasing clouds, but very chilly. That wind chill advisor goes in effect five below zero tomorrow. Some light snow develops in the afternoon after a cold start, 18 degrees. Tomorrow night, 17. Light snow tapers off, especially before midnight. And then on Saturday up to 30 with a morning flurry or snow shower. Your seven day forecast brings us cold again. Sunday only 11 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Lots of sunshine on Monday, but 10 degrees with a low that morning of five below zero. Back up to 25 on Tuesday with partly cloudy skies and then back into the teens for Wednesday and Thursday.